welcome to my channel, Andra Makes. We're kicking off July for my Month of Sunday series. That's where I share with you the me maids I wear to church on Sundays and how I style them, including jewelry and shoes. I'll put a link to the playlist in the description box, and I'll also put a link in the description box to my thrift store haul playlist because I'll be showing a lot of my thrifted things, I'm sure. Today is Sunday, July 2nd, and I wanted to be tastefully patriotic in honor of Independence Day on Tuesday. I'm wearing two Me Maids today, my top and pants, and the top I'm wearing is McCall's M7630. I have made almost every version on this pattern. I highly recommend it if you don't have it, but the one I'm wearing is View D. It has these fabulous full sleeves and I made it for the Sew Upcycle Challenge last year that was, that was hosted by Karen from So Little Time and Becky from Notes from the Sewing Room and I'll put a link to their channels in the description box. And the pants I'm wearing are the Pietra Pants by Closet Core and I made the tapered, tapered leg ankle length. This view. And the jewelry I'm wearing, my earrings I got from a local boutique here in my city that sells handmade items. And they're these wonky elongated rectangles, silver tone, and they have a star on the bottom. Whoops, almost fell down there. And then the necklace I'm wearing was a gift from one of my stepdaughters several years ago. This red necklace. And the bracelet I'm wearing I got from a thrift store, and it's this really fun shaped red bangle and the top I made <laughs> I am on the struggle bus this morning and the fabric I made my top from is a thrifted tablecloth and it came with these amazing tassels and I have a video all about this top on my channel and I will link it in the description box also and it's in this sort of denim -y, color and it has white on it of course and then the pants I'm wearing the fabric is a lightweight denim I'm pretty sure I got it from Joanne I made these several years ago and I will get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing here it is super fun sleeves with the tassels and then the tassels along the bottom and the shoes I'm wearing are a denim color lace up wedge heel and I don't know if you can see or not, but on the end of the laces, there are little tassels. So I, saw, so I thought that was fun. And here's the back. So this is what I'm wearing for Sunday, July 2nd. It's Sunday, July 9th. I'm wearing two Me Maids today, my top and skirt. And the top I'm wearing is the same pattern I wore last Sunday, but a different view. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how versatile this pattern is. I know last week I said I highly recommend it. I've made almost every view on this. My call 7630, and today I am wearing view F. Has the tie, ties in the front. And the skirt I'm wearing is from 2009, and it's what I made last year for my Make 9 2023 Challenge for the 2000 to 2010 decade. And I have a video about that, and I will link it in the description box, but it is my cause 5054, and I made this view, the same one the model's wearing. And the jewelry I'm wearing, my earrings, I either got from a thrift store or the local boutique boutique in my city. I can't remember. But they're hammered metal, sort of gold tone earrings. And the necklace I'm wearing, I got from a thrift store. These greenish wooden beads. And then there's a chartreuse larger bead in the center and the bracelet I'm wearing I've had it for several years cannot remember where I got it but it's this wooden bangle and it has this really pretty design on it and the fabric I made my top in I believe it's a Lyocell got it from Joanne and I'll show you my skirt in just a second it's two different fabrics a crinkle gauze or a crinkle rayon I think and then a linen fabric alternated. So I will get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing. Here it is. You can see where the 
shirt ties in the front and then the alternating tiers of my maxi skirt and the shoes I'm wearing are my um, bluish ombre clogs and they have a really cool cutout on the heel that's wooden I hope you can see that and here's the back so this is what I'm wearing for Sunday July 9th it's Sunday July 16th the me made I'm wearing today is this blouse it is simplicity 8 117 it is from 1977 I got it from a thrift store for 50 cents and here's the pattern and I made this view with the bow now this one has a cuff at the bottom of the sleeves but I did not do that I did elastic at the bottom of mine and this has such pretty details it has gathering right here and then the gathering along the shoulders it's just so pretty and then this bow and the jewelry I'm wearing the earrings I got from a thrift store this is one of my favorite thrift store finds there's a filigree circle right here and then dangling from it is a silver tone hoop and then dangling from it is more hoops and then these pretty yellow and pinkish beads And the fabric I made my blouse from is a vintage sheet I got from a thrift store. I can't remember if I have a standalone video about this blouse or not. If I do, I will link it in the description box. But I made it year before last, I believe, for the So April, Bl so April Blouse Challenge that's hosted by Kristen from the Dahlia Society and Gabrielle from Cloth Edit and I will link their channels in the description box. And the pants I'm wearing are ready to wear, TJ Maxx. They're my pink pants, you've seen these before. And then I have popped the outfit with this turquoise belt. And now I'll get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing. Here it is. And the shoes I'm wearing are a mustardy color heel. They've got a chunky wooden heel and I don't know if you can see along the edges they're these really cool gold tone rivets. I hope you can see those. And here's the back. So this is what I'm wearing for Sunday, July 16th. It's Sunday, July 23rd. I would like to wish my beautiful mother-in-law a happy birthday. And the Mimates I'm wearing today are my top and skirt. I'm wearing the Ashton Top by Helen's Closet. This is a TNT for me. I also have a tutorial on my channel, How to Make It. I will link that in the description box. And here are the line drawings. There's a cropped version and a longer version. And today I'm wearing the longer version. And the skirt I'm wearing, I also have a tutorial for. And I will link that in the description box. It's the Peppermint Pocket Skirt by Peppermint Magazine and Paper Theory. I love this skirt. Those pockets are so cool. This is just a unique looking skirt, super duper easy to make. And the jewelry I'm wearing, everything I got from thrift stores. And the earrings are brown and different shades of green beads on a hoop. And the necklace I'm wearing has dark brown and then a lighter brown wooden beads. And the bracelet I'm wearing is the lighter brown wooden beads. And the fabric I made my Ashton top in, this is a double gauze that I got from Joanne in this really, really pretty coral color. And my cardigan is ready to wear and I got it from a consignment store several years ago. And it has this beautiful embroidery on it. It's on the back also, and I'll show you that when I get up on the step. And the fabric I made my skirt from is a Robert Kaufman Essex linen that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I will get up on the step so you can see the entire thing. Here it is. The skirt is in this mint green color. And I just really like this color combo. You know I like to do unexpected color combinations. And there are those fabulous pockets. Like I said, this skirt is just so unique and cool looking. 
And the shoes I'm wearing are like a burnt orange heel. And here's the back. So this is what I'm wearing for Sunday, July 20th. It's Sunday, July 30th. I would like to wish my handsome son a happy birthday. He had a birthday this past week. And my birthday is coming up this week, so I wanted to quickly share something with you. My sweet friend Carol from So Carol, I will link her channel in the description box. She lives over in the UK. She sent me some sweet gifts for my birthday. Thank you so much, Carol. You are so thoughtful and kind. She sent me the sweetest card and then attached to the card is this English breakfast tea. Looking forward to that. And then she sent me these gorgeous earrings. They are painted glass beads. That beautiful blue color with the different painted flowers on there. So gorgeous. And then she sent me this handmade tissue holder. Look at that. So handy and practical. She has a tutorial for how to make these on her channel and I will link it in the description box. I love practical gifts. So thank you so much, Carol. And the me made I'm wearing today is this dress. This is the Donna dress and it is by fabricstore.com. It's a free pattern. This is what I made for the So Frugal Challenge this year that's hosted by Ruann from the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam from Frugalissima and I will link their channels in the description box and I have a video dedicated to this dress, lots of details on my channel and I will link it in the description box as well. And the earrings I'm wearing I got from a thrift store. They're these really fun pink large acrylic beads. And then the bracelet I'm wearing I got from a thrift store also. I call this my Flintstones bracelet. It's what it reminds me of. It's these large wooden beads in these off-white color and then a gold tone bead as well. And the fabric I'm in my dress in, my friend Trisha sent it to me a couple years ago and I had it in my stash when I made it. And this is a silky print. I'm pretty sure it's from Joanne because I have seen it in Joanne, but it has it's a beautiful floral, it has green and gray and different shades of pink and red. And now I will get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing. Oh, before I do that, I forgot to say I did change the pattern a little bit. I added elastic to the bottom of the sleeve and then I made a self belt. So now I'll get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing. Here it is. It also has pockets. You know I have to have those. And these shoes I'm wearing are a nude colored strappy sandal. And here's the back. So this is what I'm wearing for Sunday, July 30th and everything I wore for a month of Sundays in July. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.